Hey there, gamers. Welcome back to Joystick News. I'm your name. And today we've got some mind-blowing updates on one of the most anticipated games of the year Dragon Age, The Veilguard. If you're a fan of epic fantasy, jaw-dropping visuals, and intricate storylines, then buckle up because we're diving deep into the latest preview that has everyone talking. So, let's get started. First up, let's talk about the opening sequence of Dragon Age, The Veilguard. Just like its predecessor, Dragon Age, Inquisition, it kicks off with a bang. Picture this, a giant tear in the sky, the veil weakening, and demons pouring into the world of Thedas. You're thrust right into the action, battling your way through chaotic scenes alongside some familiar faces, including the beloved storyteller Varric Tithras and a powerful new mage ally. In the first hour of gameplay, we get a taste of the intense narrative and high-stakes action that awaits. The creative director, John Epler, gave us a walkthrough of character creation, and let me tell you, it's impressive. Fans of Dragon Age, Inquisition will be thrilled to know that the notorious green lighting has been fixed. You can now preview your character in various lighting conditions, and the customization options are more detailed than ever. From body sliders to tattoos, Bioware has outdone themselves. When it comes to playable races and classes, the Veilguard offers a classic yet rich selection. You can choose from humans, elves, quenari, and dwarves. As for classes, you have the warrior, rogue, and mage, each with unique specializations. For instance, rogues can specialize as duelists, saboteurs, or veil rangers. Each choice affects your gameplay and interactions, adding a layer of depth and replayability. The opening cinematic is nothing short of epic. Varric recounts the story of Solas, the Dread Wolf, and we find ourselves in the capital of the Teventer Imperium, Minrathis. Here you meet Neve, a shadow dragon and renowned detective, setting the stage for an intriguing plot. Your first major decision is to either attack or talk to some shady Venatori agents, which impacts your relationship with Varric and sets the tone for your character's personality. Minrithus is a visual masterpiece. It's gothic, magical, and utterly captivating. Just as you start to take in the beauty, the sky tears apart and demons invade, causing chaos. This sequence introduces you to the new, more dynamic combat system. It's more active than Inquisitions, but retains that familiar Dragon Age feel. You can now switch between a bow and dual wield daggers mid-combat, which is a first for the series. One of the standout features is the resource management system. Each class has a unique resource bar that affects combat strategy. For rogues, it's called momentum, which fills quickly but depletes rapidly when hit. This adds a tactical layer to battles, making each encounter thrilling and challenging. The prologue culminates in a high-stakes mission to stop Solas from tearing down the veil. You journey through the Olothan forest, face off against a formidable pride demon, and witness some mind-bending Lovecraftian creatures in the Fade. These entities, likely the Evaniris, add a new dimension to the lore of Thetas. After an intense showdown, your character, Rook, passes out, mirroring the opening of Inquisition. This cliffhanger leaves us eager to explore more of the rich narrative and complex characters when the game releases. So there you have it, folks. Dragon Age, the Veilguard is shaping up to be an unforgettable experience. From its stunning visuals and enhanced character creation to its deep storytelling and evolved combat mechanics, it promises to deliver everything fans have been waiting for. Stay tuned to Joystick News for more updates and in-depth coverage as we count down to its Fall 2024 release. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all things gaming. Until next time, happy gaming!